Hello everyone, Derek here with the Platinum demo that was just released for Final Fantasy XV. We are literally about an hour after the Final Fantasy XV Uncovered event where a lot of new information was released, according, including a bunch of like side projects that's going to be involved with XV. And one of them was this demo, which is not going to be in the game. It's sort of just a, an exclusive look. Uh, which is also sort of in the vein of Bravely Default and Bravely Second, where it's separate, but it gives you an idea of what the game's going to be like. So let's go ahead and check it out. I have not played this yet, and, uh, well, we're going with English, and I'm going to try out this English dialogue to see how it all sounds. Uh, we're going to go with Surround. Alright, that all looks good. Oh, it's Carbuncle. He's adorable. I love. <laughs> I do enjoy how you can order Final Fantasy XV from here. But let's go ahead and get into that options because I want to make sure that subtitles are on. Um, looks all good. Yep, here we go. We want subtitles on. Um, we'll put the names on so everybody knows who they are. And everything else should be good. Gonna turn up the volume a little bit for myself, so I can hear it my, uh, for myself. Not too loud, but uh, for, for you guys, so you don't get double feedback. Anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game and uh, see what this Platinum demo is all about. Alright, join young Noctis and his magical guide as you explore the fantastical world of his dreams. A sneak peek of the excitement to come in Final Fantasy XV. So we're gonna say that uh, Uncovered event did a lot to make me much more excited for 15. I was already like sort of there, but I needed something to really concretely put me over the edge. And the Uncovered did do that. What do we have going on here? So it looks like Noct was knocked out, because they did say that this is part of a dream world. So, uh, let's see what's going on with young Noctis here. So already you can tell this game looks gorgeous. <laughs> it really does. Oh, Carbuncle's here to help. That's a big phone. Oh, I got a text. Wait, what? Carbuncle's communicating through the phone? Really? That's different. This is the world of your dreams. Alright, so we can jump. Roll dodge. There we go. Look around with R. And then hold the thing in. Now we want to collect these little bits of crystals because that actually unlocks further abilities for, this, for us. So we're going to actually look around a good bit and try to find all of this. Aha! There's some up here. So already there's like, even in this demo, there's exploration to it, which if you're familiar with 13 at all, that really was not the case. Excuse me. Let's sprint over here. Get a few more of these. If I'm willing to bet, it's probably going to be about a hundred of those crystals in the uh, demo. Could be more. Honestly, not sure how long this demo is going to be, but uh, there we go. Got 25. We unlocked the bronze plates. Whoa. Hello, Titan. And he's gone. <laughs> That's cool. Does he come back? Nope. Oh, well. Well, that was Titan. Alright, what else do we got here? Hi. 
Whoa, whoa. Okay, hopefully got all those. Did I? Yep, I did. Cool. So, the only effect that... I, the rippling, of course, is gorgeous. But there's something about the water. It looks very plasticine to me, but the ripple effects are great. Oh. Yeah, we did get knocked out. Thanks, Carbuncle. Alright, we gotta find the exit. So far, I gotta say, this is a lot nicer than my typical dreams. Ooh, new thing. What's this do? Time has been sped up. So now we get to see the, uh... How time of day... Oh, wow, that's bright. <laughs> you want some bloom effects. Uh, now we get to see how time of day changes in the game. This is a really clever way to show off everything that the game is gonna have to offer. Just in a quick, succinct manner while still giving you something unique and different. I gotta commend him for this. This is really smart. Ooh, another big one. Yes, please. Anything else I'm missing? Can I climb up there? Nope, I cannot climb up there. I should be able to climb up there, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll stick to you. I just want to get all this stuff first. I'll be right with you, Carbuncle. Got all this interesting stuff. Okay, so it looks like I can't climb, or at least grab a hold. Ooh, another thing. What's this one do? The weather has changed. So it was sunny before. Now it's... A bit overcast, a bit foggy. Again, look at this model for Noctis. This is great. Of course, it's Square Enix. You can always sort of expect a... Uh, good-looking game from Square Enix. Just about, it sort of depends how it plays. But as far as exploration, yeah, we're kind of going down a linear pathway, but there are opportunities to look. Hey, goblins! Ruby Light. Ooh, we got a two toy sword and a squeaky hammer. Alright, so we gotta let's push this. Oh, so we, this is, allows us to... So unlike the previous demo, um, episode Disque, the combat has changed where you can actually select which of the arms you use. So we're going to go ahead and put the squeaky hammer here and the toy sword here. And... Alright, O to attack, uh, square to defend. Let's take on these goblins. Take that. Take that. <laughs> and so just by... Okay, so you can switch on the fly anytime you want by hitting the D-pad. And that's how you can switch up your combos and whatnot. That's quite clever. I really like that over the previous system of this from Disque. Well, that's... Huh, if he wants to go that way, what's well, this way? What's this? Oh, you found something. Something stirs in the dreamscape. Whoa! Hello, Leviathan! Oh my god, that is so cool! I might be fanboying out slightly about all this, but uh, I feel it's warranted. Oh look, even a little frog here. Can he swim? Okay, you cannot swim. Again, the lighting engine here, because the time of day has changed. Okay, we're jumping in here. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Alright. So hold down circle to deliver continuous strikes. Hold down square to auto dodge enemy attacks. However, some enemy attacks cannot be dodged. You know, it's it's still somewhat like the episode Disque demo. Nothing too different in that way. But uh, let's continue on and whoa, water dish. Hello. <laughs> we just went into Alice in Wonderland here. 
Oh my gosh. This is so freaking creative. Try throwing one, it'll be a blast. What's this? Ooh, fireworks. Hold circle to grab a bomb and aim with L. Then let go to launch one at your foes. Huh. Oh, maybe I have to equip it. Here we go. Fireworks. Which is supposed to represent magic in the game. So, we'll, next time we see enemies, we'll use that since we have a limited amount. So, time speeding up once again. I wish I had the sound up a little further more, more so I could actually hear the sound, but... I would hear the music, but so far. Alright, so we need a few more for this plate, for the silver plates. Uh, let's continue on over here. And, whoa! I transformed into a car! So now we're gonna try out driving! Can accelerate, uh... Brake or reverse. It's a little stiff, but, uh... Not too bad. What else do we got around here? What'd you find here, Carbuncle? Alright, well, we got to drive, drive around a little bit. Okay, we gotta find a way to get up to Carbuncle. So, we think this way? Uh, Carbuncle's cheering us on, that's for sure. Ooh, okay, here's some monsters. Alright. Nice. So that's magic. Get down there. With my toy hammer. <laughs> I think they got out of the way. Oh well. Oh come on, I want to whack you. Get back here. So yeah, I can pretty easily switch between these and get combos going pretty well. Take care of all these guys. That's just a regular sword combo. Here's Hammer. And automatically switched and he just ran on his own to that. Hammer's pretty devastating, I gotta say. Get back here. Oh, and I unlocked silver plates. Awesome. Gonna whack ya. Again. And again. Okay, these guys didn't stand a chance. And we got crystal from it, so it's all good. Alright, so that's where we're supposed to go, but we got a new thing here. New car! Cool. Let's drive back to where we were, see if we can unlock that plate. Also, can we break these blocks? Okay, so... Oh, we can! Here, I thought I had to stop. But yeah, there is a physics engine here. Push them away. We're just going to wreck the playroom. Why not? Come on, back up. Huh. Not a bad level of interactivity. Not exact, not immediate or anything like that, but it does get the job done. All right, let's go back to become a knocked again. Gather these up, and yes, this plate is available now. Which vehicle is this? Uh, another truck. Okay. All right, uh, here we go. What's over this way? Boy, trucks are slow. Ah, okay, more. Let's gather these up, see what we find. Anything? Nope, nothing, just more. Nice big open area. I mean, it is sort of 
emulating the uh, giant feel of the rest of the that the rest of the world will have. Also, we have more time sped up. We have back here books, soda, more books, kind of like a cave. Whoa! Hello, goblins. That's a big goblin. <laughs> Holy crap! We're gonna uh, let's magic you. That didn't work. Yes, it did. Ow, shoot. Alright, let's try the defend thing. So he automatically does defend. Alright, let's get the sword out here. Take him down with the hammer while he's... Ow! Get over here. There you go. Got you this time. I got the goblins. I believe I said this when I did the demo for... Uh... <laughs> nice. Uh, when I did the demo for episode Disque. But I gotta say, I mean, the, I love how they're staying true to the original designs of goblins in Final Fantasy. Uh, it's it's actually incredibly faithful. Alright, what's over here? A couple more. Man, there's a lot to explore in this place. You would not think it, but... And control already feels pretty tight. Some great details in the books. We got some reading material here. And it's even on the rhinos of this world. Okay, that's that's kind of cool. All right, that gets us out of here, which is where we would have popped out before. All right, what other? Okay, this is a thing to do the day-night cycle. Which one's this? Another car. Okay, we've seen this car before. Ooh, what's this one do? We're gonna explore everything, cause why not? Back to blue. Can we run over this guy? I'm curious. Okay, car does not do anything. <laughs> Guys are pretty hardy, I'll say that much. Combat is simple, but I can definitely see how it would be expanded as you play. Another one? Ooh, more stuff. Ah, you guys again. Get out of here. Magic you do have to be a little bit more precise with. But it does have some good range, I'll say that much. Get the big guy again. <laughs> Is that all of them? I think I got all of them. Nope, there's still this guy. Get over here. Walk on to you and... Bop, boop you on the head. <laughs> okay, let's get over here and finish off these guys. Get this corner, because I see a nice big crystal up there, and I do want to unlock the uh, gold panels. And if I had to guess, there's probably platinum panels as well. Okay, got through all that in this corner. What do we have over here? More stuff, sheesh. All right, looks like dead end, no big deal. Also snacks. <laughs> Pretty sure they'd feed Noctis for a while. 
Oh, so we did get that, right? Yeah, we did. What? Wait, 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 wait. We got stuff here. Got all that. Not seeing anything that way. Nice animation for the climbing. And... Whoop. Whoop. Ah, dang it. Lost my balance. We'll get back up there. <laughs> a little bit of clipping there, but nothing too bad. Okay, that's the way we're going to want to come down. Uh, let's... Crab and fish crackers. Blah. That doesn't sound appetizing at all. Oh, there's even a little bit of water in here. What? What happened? Oh, time sped up. And now it's daylight. Cool. And that takes care of all of that. So let's transform into another car. And keep going. Whoa, hello. Get back here. Who said you can go anywhere? Now that you're down, hit you with the hammer. <laughs> Who knew a squeaky hammer could be so devastating? Get over here. Who said you can run away? Oh, almost at 200 of these things and Boy, I thought 100 would be the limit. <laughs> now, this is probably going to be a longer game and watch because, well, I have a feeling this is kind of a lengthy demo. And I want to try to be as thorough as possible to really show it off for those of you who may not have access to a PS4 and are interested in the game. What do we got here? At more time speeding up. Got more candy. Nice uh, example of the light moving in real time well kinda nice another big one and away we go fish and crab crackers blah I'm still still not over that <laughs> all right another car and I think this is the last little bit okay so we got a white version a couple different paint jobs and that's it. With all that done, let's uh, continue on and meet up with Carbuncle. Might have missed a few things here and there. No big deal. Oh, get up there and knock this. A little bit of, a little bit of issues there. All right, nothing. Nope, more books. My devastation is still there. Up, up, up. Anything? Whoop! Oh, well, we can still <laughs> move around all that. Alright. Oh, come on. Do I get on the bottle? Oh, that's going to drive me nuts if I can't get that. Come on. None of these left behind. We can't do that. There we go. Oh, what do we got here? Know thy camera. Huh. I wonder if you'll be able to take pictures of everything in the game. They didn't mention it, but, you know, they can still have some secrets hiding around. Oh, boy. There's stuff on that bag. Well, <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> Alright. Made it onto the bag. Let's make our way around. Sheesh, there's even stuff on the backside. Come on, give me up on this pillow. Whoop, careful. Whoop. Oh, crap. <laughs> Falling again. That's all right. We'll get around. Not getting up that pillow, that's for sure. All right. Well, I'm not going to... Let's see. Do I worry about it or not? It depends if it's easy. Whoop. Well, I just collapsed everything, so that's one way to get down there. Alright. 
Got all that. Can I climb back up using this method? Come on, Noctis. Get up there. Oh, camera's freaking out. Okay. I'm not sure what happened, but we did it. <laughs> so as you can see, the game's not perfect, but, you know, we're, we're fooling around here. I wouldn't expect it to hold up like that. Oh, tell me I can hit the ball into them. Oh, I can't do anything with the ball. That's a bummer. Oh, well. We'll take care of these guys and... Continue on. Ow. Not cool. Take care of this guy. Yeah, working that hammer into the combo really does a lot of damage. Like, it's, it's kind of weird how much damage this thing does. <laughs> Alright. Got another thing here. This gets us... Oh, we got Thunderbolt. Nice. Let's go ahead and equip that. See, sometimes we get interesting goodies. Looks like... Okay, time sped up. They received a gift was from before. Alright, another one of these. Looks like we want to go through here. Ah, oh, another portal. So, yep, this is it for the... This world. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to be any on those uh, chairs. But there is one hiding back behind here, so we got some more crystals. Almost 300. Alright, where to next? Hmm, where to next? Load time is a bit long, but, I mean, this is the first time that the dus episode Duskay demo was just one continuous area. So it's not that surprising to have subsections more so with the Platinum demo. But, yeah, already we've, I mean, I've fooled around quite a bit. We, we've already done a good half hour of uh, adventuring. Got to drive cars, kind of. <laughs> Did some platforming, and now we're back outside. And it's raining, and you can... Oh, wow, you can see the water reflecting off of Noctis. Alright, we're looking for a long hallway. Ooh, gelati. Yes, please. Oh, it's probably a little soggy. Right. So this is the rain. Let's get a nice close look at Noctis. Can't quite tell that his hair is wet, but uh, still a pretty cool effect. And now it's sunny. Oh, so it goes from sunny... Here's cloudy. And then back to rainy. Cool. What else do we got? Anything over here? I'm mainly going this way because the uh, the guy during the Uncovered event went the other way, which I assume is plots, or what such as such as plot is in this game in this demo. Now we can have nighttime rain. And these cities just the architecture here. Ooh, spring hammer. Got a new gift. Or a shining hammer. Let's equip that instead and see how it does. Alright, bring it on. Got a shining hammer. Ooh. Oh, that's right. We don't want to try... Uh... Alright, hold on. Come on, hit. The thunderbolt hit, hit. It did not. I missed. We'll get up and close, and then we'll finish off your big friend here. Where are you? Ow. Dang it. 
Come here. Come on, he keeps getting out of my range. Alright. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Wow, well, shoot. I'm stuck. Oh well. That takes care of them. Kind of wasted a couple of my uh, thunders, but oh well. What's this? Whoa! Oh, I'm one of the. Um, oh, I can't even think of their names. We, I fought them in the uh, the episode Duske demo. Oh, that's cool. Let's go. Oh, I should have transformed and fought those things. We'll go fight these things instead. Pound the earth. All right. Well, he's not too great at. Come on, lock on. There we go. So if you, it doesn't do much if you don't land on him, but if you land on him, it does pretty well. There you go. Let's uh, undo. And let's become this. Oh, we're back to this thing again. I thought it would be something different. Oh, well. Well, it looks like going up leads further ahead, so let's avoid that for now and head back over where we were, where we couldn't get into that little section. Also, look at this. This is gorgeous. Brilliant way of showing off all the effects the demo has to, that the full game will have to offer. Um... And I can actually... Oh man, does Noctis get wetter as he, as he stays in the rain? He looks wetter now. Oh, that's neat. Ooh, raindrops. Uh, let's go ahead... Well, we saw what Thunder Thunderbolt looks like. Let's see what the raindrops at least look like. Alright, we got a target. Now, if he would just stand still. Wait, there's some over here. Nice area of effect spell. Holy crap. I can't even see. <laughs> and the new Shining Hammer is working out quite well. Quite powerful. What do we got here? Oh, daylight gonna be coming. So this is where we let up before. Can't go that way, but we can go around here. Ooh, another mystery. Ah, we got soccer balls we can play with. Can't really. Oh, okay. We're getting some story. Oh, uh, what's with the chocobo being all sad? That's sad. But we got the soccer. Not very good, but uh, I never was good at soccer, so there you go. <laughs> uh, let's go up around here. I haven't seen that long hallway. All right, let's go ahead and get dried off. Have it nice and sunny out. And... Oh. Okay, so now we have a clear night. Cool. What's this? Meteor rain. Yes, please. Uh, we'll get rid of fireworks for that. And... What's this? I don't know what we got here. Oh, an enemy. There he is. Cool, we can use meter rain now. 
Let's aim this bad boy. Oh, here we go. Holy crap! It got everything! Oh my gosh, the lighting in this game is amazing! I'm so glad I'm doing this at night with that can ha when that can happen. Even destroyed the boxes. See, that's why you go for the crystals, so you can check out all this cool crap. Alright, that's our long hallway. What's this thing? Uh, more fireworks. We don't need more fireworks. We do want to explore over this way, though. It's so nice. Oh, a little bit of everything. It really is just a nice change of pace to go from how linear Final Fantasy XIII was. And to, be, to admit that the, uh, the sequels did sort of branch it out a little bit, but not as much as people were hoping. I mean, the damage was done with thirteen, And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do Meteor Rain again because that was cool. Even bounces off the walls. That's great. Found another secret. Man, just so much. I, I want to keep it night because it's cool at night. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I did see one thing to get. That's another shift. Anything back here? Nope. We've already been here. Hello. Where'd you come from? Let's do some more raindrops. Definitely good for disrupting and making sure they can't do really much of anything. <laughs> Alright, that takes care of that. Let's, uh... Where'd you come from? Get out of here. And... Yeah, there's a thing I can do over here. Let's check it out. And we can see Dawn this way. Let's see Dawn rise up over the city. Or that way. Ow, that's right! <laughs> Okay, that is cool. Oh, there's that water wheel we saw in the uh, during the Uncovered event. Alright. Can I get this? I think I did. I did. Sweet. And hey, it's... Man, every time of day is gorgeous in this game. Let's go back there, because that's a prime spot to uh, check out all that. Check all that out. And you can spawn those monsters infinitely for as much as you want to check out the demo, but... Alright, that was night. That's dawn. Here's daylight. Wow. And here's evening, which means... Hmm. Might be catching up to it. Oh, here we go. That bloom. <laughs> so yeah, here's here's uh, evening, sun going down. All right, I think that takes care of that section, and this must be the place. The one place you feel safest. <laughs> well, we saw that in the episode Disque Demo. You're a pretty cool guy, uh, Carbuncle. I like you. Alright, so let's see how this demo is going to end off, because I have to assume this is the last section of it. I wonder what Carbuncle will do in the full game. I know he usually casts Reflect on the entire party, and 
most of them. The, the Carbuncle I'm actually most familiar with is the one from Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, I don't know why that one sticks out in my head so much, but... Uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, this place. The Citadel is what it's called. Hmm. Well, something's going down. I don't think it's a safe place. Whoa, carbuncle! <laughs> That's not cool. That's an iron giant. Oh, he's back. Wow. This one will protect you through your darkest dreams. Oh, that's cool. But remember, Noct. In the world of your dreams, you are king. Not afraid. And now we're grown up adult uh grown up Noct. And it is time to... Alright, first of all, we gotta check out what a real fire attack does. As soon as we dodge. Ow, 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 Okay, that did not go well. Take that. Alright, we're out of fire, but that's alright. God, the Iron Giant looks so, so cool. Right, let's explore a little bit what these things do. We got a time of day we can shift. What's the mystery object do? Oh, MP full. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Hang in there. All right, that's that. That was the broadsword. Here's the air step sword. Oh my god, the combat, like, feels so good now that it's like this. Ow, that's a, hello, help. Ow, he's crushing me. Ah, oh, I didn't hit the warp fleet quick enough. Shoot. Oh, there's another pad over there. Let's go check that out real quick. And let's change the weather. What do we got over here? Mystery item number two. Elemental energy. Uh oh, I think I know what he's doing here. Oh wait, no. Nice, fire times three. Did I get anything else? Nope, just that. Oh, I wonder. Ow! That's not cool. Excuse me, Iron Giant. I am trying to see if I can blow up this barrel and cause extra damage to you. Ugh. Okay. Well, he can destroy the environment. We know that much. Ow. Okay. Well, I'm sucking. <laughs> Oh gosh. Alright, enough of this. Alright, Iron Giant is down. We were just fooling around a little bit to see what we could do. But I'm pretty sure that we can make that barrel explode if we uh, hit it. Oh, we unlocked platinum plates. Nice. Alright, let's continue on. I still only have fireworks. Never did check out the other side, so let's... Is there anything over there? Oh no, they got rid of all the plates. So... Let's check out this one. No, not yet. I want to see what this last one does, and then we can proceed to the ending. 
But I gotta say, seeing the combat come together... Oh, I can make it happen again. That's a weird looking chocobo. Let's make this thing explode this time. Yes, it does do that. Oh my gosh, it does. <laughs> That's awesome. Of course, we can warp. Ow. I think I got... I think the flames actually hit me. <laughs> Interesting, if I attack from his sword side, it does not do anything. That's alright. It's really, like, it's two buttons, but it's so satisfying to dodge his attacks and... You know, really, like, once you... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm doing terrible. Once you get the hang of everything, I think this will really... Oh, God. Oh, shoot. This is not good. We're going to retreat. Definitely going to retreat. Uh... <laughs> Okay, we're good. Whoops. Caught me again. But I was able to warp flee, so that's cool. Let's unlock off of him and run. <laughs> I want my, I think I want to get my uh, fire back. This is also getting my health back, which is kind of nice. All right, what are you doing? Yeah, magic is crazy good in this. And this is just a normal fire spell. A little closer, friend. Really? Didn't hit him at all. Oh well, at least I ca caused collateral. And he's down. So that was two fights against the Iron Giant. You can fight him as much as you want, get the feel for the uh, how the combat works, and I think it works really well. I mean, Obviously, I'm not great at it yet, but as you get the feel for it, uh, it really does come together, and I can see how it could be really fun once you're able to mix in all the different abilities. But for now, let's go ahead and end the demo. And it's night. Now it's day. Now it's sunny. <laughs> and hey, got a car. Travel in style. Oh, that's the significance of the car. It belonged to his dad. I do like how there's like, if he knows a little bit of the pre-production materials, you can see, you can get a little bit of a taste for it. And like, see where they're going with certain things. I gotta say, for the way they've been handling these Final Fantasy XV productions, I remember your name now. Um, it's going. It's it's it seems to be going really well. So yeah, my dream guy could be named anything, but I gotta say, I do like the name Carbuncle. Plus, I'm an unoriginal hack, so we're sticking with Carbuncle. And with that, we've completed the platinum demo. 
Yep, only a mere taste of what to come. In Final Fantasy XV, you will join a grown-up Noctis and his dependable buddies on a journey on across an immersive and expansive world. From all of us on the Final Fantasy XV team, including your favorite little magical guide, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Yay, Chocobo happy. And I'm not going to order Final Fantasy XV because I'm going to want to get a physical version. But yeah, that is the Platinum Demo for Final Fantasy XV. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this. I had a lot of fun. It is available now for free. Check it out yourself. Let me know what you think. And uh, as I said, I think what they've done here so far with Final Fantasy XV, if they can maintain this level of quality and what they showed off in those demos, I think we could really find a resurgence of Final Fantasy. I really hope that's the case. Whether or, not, whether or not it actually will be, we'll see. So with all that said, thank you guys for watching. And of course, stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Final Fantasy and other things gaming as well. Alright guys, bye.